mean, he does look like a fairly frightening person, uh, head of a big American corporation. But what he says, I think, really does ring true, that when the rate of change outside ex- you know, exceeds the rate of change inside, the end is in sight. How many people here would say that in the, where they work... <coughs> The rate of change outside the organization is greater than the rate of change inside. How many people? It's sad, but it's probably true. But, you know, I think this guy has got a point. That somehow or other it's a sign of that the end is coming when you can't keep up with what's going on around you. Now, <laughs> one of the things that we could, ways we could respond to this situation is by rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic. Does that, I don't know if that's a saying that you've heard, but it's a saying we certainly use in England, that uh, when you're, uh, you're wasting time in, in the middle of an emergency, you're rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic. So what the, the learning development people are saying is, this section of chairs is for the auditory learners, you know, this, this section of chairs is for the visual learners, and this section is for the troublemakers. I'm sorry, I don't mean the troublemakers, I mean the kinesthetic learners. And uh, so basically, basically, they are rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic when in the outer, in, in, over in the distance, the iceberg is approaching. This is not the, this is not the uh, approach to be taking at the moment. And, and I must admit that um, Jay definitely owes me a drink because not only do I have a quote, but a picture now. <laughs> a picture. Because it, from the same blog posting, he says... Survivors must write new agendas while they still have desks to write them on. This is how urgent it is. We really have to be proactive. This is the point. If we stay still now, we become sitting ducks because all our competitors for resources will be diving into the finance director's office with their proposals. If we sit still, we are sitting ducks. We have to be able to make change happen. And this might be the catalyst that we've been looking for. I mean, I've been involved in e-learning since 1980, roughly. And this might just be the catalyst to make that happen. So anyway, um, one thing that I would recommend is that we don't get into a a, a war of what I call uh, sneer leading. Sneer leading is where we take a particular stance and say, we're the people who've got it right, you're the people who've got it wrong. You know, we're, you know we're, we're the informal learning people, you're the formal learning people, or we're the constructivists, you're the behaviorists, you know, we believe in this or that. We, we've got to bring everybody with us. We've got, to, we've got to try and engage in some cheerleading. So get rid of those old divides and realize that all these perspectives have a, have a point of view. And coming back to that picture from 100,000 years ago, did anybody understand that 100,000 was 32 in binary? Yeah, but like, anybody? You see, oh, yes, you, I, I told you there weren't many people in learning development who were good at numbers, but um, <laughs> there, were, there are some. 32 years ago, so has much changed? No, it hasn't. It, unfortunately, it hasn't. Not much has changed, but we haven't got another 32 years to make the changes. We haven't even got another 32 days, perhaps, to make the changes. We've got to make those changes happen now. But we do have a choice, and if we are proactive, then the good news is that we can be the winners out of all this rather than the losers, because there are going to be a lot of, lot of losers, but we can definitely come out of this particular period as, uh, as uh, people who have succeeded in making change happen that should have happened a long time before. Thank you very much.